Just let me know when you want me to start, so. How many remotes you can handle at one time? Good afternoon. Uh, I am Steve Kaler, New Holland City Engineer. This is it is uh, 4 p.m. Tuesday, May 5th, two, 2020. This is the annual public informational meeting on the City of New Holland Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan. Assistant City Engineer Joe Stadheim has a uh, PowerPoint presentation. Go ahead, Joe. All right. Thanks, Steve. Uh, as Steve stated, I'm Joseph Stadheim, the Assistant City Engineer, and we'll take you through the uh, stormwater pollution prevention plan uh, program today. On the agenda, we'll do a brief introduction and background of our stormwater program, we'll provide an update for uh, what's coming in 2020, and we'll read any written or oral comments that uh, we may have. So what is a stormwater pollution prevention plan or a SWIP? It's uh, really the plan that the city follows to prevent pollution from entering our receiving waters, which in our case are the Cottonwood and Minnesota rivers. The uh, city is a, a permittee from the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency to operate a munis municipal separate storm sewer system, or an MS4. We became permitted in 2007, and uh, through the process we have a permit, again with the MPCA, and we have a uh, ordinance, a stormwater ordinance, that conform to the Federal Clean Water Act. And those two uh, tools uh, together allow us to enforce our stormwater standards. We are expecting the MPCA to uh, release a new MS4 permit in the summer of 2020, as the current permit has uh, expired um, in 2019. Right now, the, the MPCA is in the final review of that permit. Um, comments were received in November of 2019 through January of 2020. So like I said, we adopted a stormwater ordinance in December of 2008. And uh, with the permit changes in 2015 through 16 from the MPCA, we adopted those changes into our ordinance in August of 2016. And we are expecting um, some ordinance changes again in 2020 to comply with any changes the MPCA has uh, with the new permit. So how do we prevent stormwater pollution prevention? There's really two methods. There's structural be best management practices, which are actual infrastructure. You see here, like stormwater ponds, rain barrels. And then non-structural best management practices are our procedures that we follow, such as properly disposing of yard waste and not blowing grass clippings into the street and things like that. So we have six minimum control measures to prevent stormwater pollution. Those six MCMs are public education and outreach, public participation and involvement. Uh, both of those we are uh, checking the box today with our presentation here and then allowing public comment on our stormwater pollution prevention plan. The big one that uh, is illicit discharge elimination that we train city staff on. Construction runoff control. We permit uh, construction sites throughout the city to prevent construction sites from contributing to stormwater pollution. Post-construction management and pollution control and housekeeping. So we're gonna to touch on those a little bit more in depth. MCM number one is public education and outreach. So each year we send out a utility bill flyer on, uh, we pick a stormwater uh, topic and we send out a utility bill flyer on that topic each year. Staff training, we try to train our city staff uh, at least uh, yearly. Um, we try to do reminders as frequently as needed. And that staff tra training is for illicit discharge detection and elimination and for the construction crews for site erosion and sediment control. And we work with the South Central Stormwater Coordinator Group, so other municipalities within our area such as, such as Hutchinson, Mankato, North Mankato, um, Wasika is included, and Marshall 
as well. So we work together as a group to share ideas and sh um, uh, items that are working in those different communities and just try to use it as a knowledge base. And then finally, our annual meeting that we're doing today. Public participation and involvement is MCM number two. So each year we always receive, um, we're always open to receive public input on the stormwater pollution prevention plan. We use events as, such as the annual meeting and we have the stormwater pollution prevention plan on the city website that people can uh, research. And if they have questions or comments, they can email those to uh, the engineering staff. And again, with the educational um, flyers that we send out, um, we also use the Newham Home Show to distribute materials as well. One of the most noticeable things that we do are illicit discharge elimination. That's MCM number three. And a big one on that is educating our city and public utility staff. Uh, we want our sites to be good role models for other citizens and contractors working within the city and we tried to incorporate illicit discharge investigation into everyday activities. In 2019, we had 34 complaints. We received and acted on those 34 complaints, and 14 of them came from the public, and 20 were from city staff. All of those were resolved with verbal warnings or just uh, verbal education. MCM number four is construct construction site runoff control. Um, so that would be any construction, construction site you may see in town that has either like a silt fence or a wood chip berm surrounding it. Um, that's really the first, the final line of defense in keeping sediment on site and from entering roadways and our storm sewer system. So we have two city staff members that are trained and certified by the MPCA to conduct these um, site inspections. And to control that, we issue stormwater permits. And we granted 27 permits in 2019. And from those 27 permits, we had 248 site inspections. Of those 27 permits, two were large site permits, which are over one acre in size. A uh, permittee must fill out the permit if they disturb 1,000 uh, or more square feet of land surface. So in the Looking at our numbers from 2018, we have seven more permits in 2019 than we did in 18. And we had very good contractor compliance. Out of those 248 site inspections, we only had 14 enforcement actions, and they all were resolved with verbal warnings. MCM number five is post-construction management. So that's really for contractors and developers. When they finish up their project, there's always going to be ongoing maintenance in, in the future. So we use that as build information uh, for the B BMPs that are constructed, such as uh, stormwater ponds. And we use that data to determine when maintenance is needed. And pollution prevention is MCM number six. So the city has numerous uh, stormwater outfalls and stormwater ponds, and we inspect each one of those yearly to ensure that they are working properly and, they're, um, de and also determine when maintenance is needed. So maintenance on stormwater ponds may be dredging the pond to get it back to its original capacity, or the other item may be outfall maintenance if we had a bunch of scour and we need more riprap or uh, if some rills or something like that developed. We, we use city forces to do that maintenance work whenever possible. So here's some pictures of some stormwater infrastructure. I'll use the pointer here. The, this picture up here is a stormwater outfall on uh, 18th uh, South Street. This one's a little bit harder to see, but this is the outfall at Center Street. Here's a pond up at MLC campus that um, serves as um, a stormwater filtration basin, and then also another stormwater filtration basin. Uh, this one is at the fairgrounds. So what changed in 2019? Uh, the short answer is not much, as we are awaiting the changes from the MPCA on the new MS4 permit. The permit was expected in 2019, but from the public comment period, uh, the release date has been pushed back on that. So we, are, we always expect some sort of change to come from a new permit from the MPCA. So we will 
uh, kind of await to see what those changes are, you know, when the final permit is released by the MPCA. And then we will have to go through the application period and update any ordinances and policies that we have that are affected by the permit changes. So what to expect in 2020 and beyond? Uh, we're going to continue to work with our stormwater coordinators group. Um, we'll probably be working with them more closely this year than we have in past with any uh, ordinance changes that are needed and any policy changes that are needed with the new permit. Uh, we're still uh, working with the school district to try to uh, find opportunities for stormwater pollution prevention education, um, whether it be with a chemistry class or something along those lines. Uh, as new infrastructure is built, we continue to update and improve our BMP techniques and um, infrastructure tracking. We recently or are in the process of purchasing a, a drone with survey capabilities so that will help us with our BMP uh, surveys. Uh, also be able to do more um, quick, quicker surveys for ponds using, using our drone technology. We will continue to educate the citizens in New Ulm uh, with el illicit discharge detection, reporting and elimination. We will continue to uh, train our staff, whether that be new staff or staff that's been employed for some time, but uh, we try to do that yearly training for our city staff. And then, uh, as I touched on earlier, we'll update the ordinance as needed with our new MS4 permit. So with that, we are now at the public um, comments and question period. I don't think we received any written comments. I don't know if we have any comments from those in attendance today. So with that, I think this will end our 2020 stormwater pollution prevention plan uh, presentation. So thank you for your time. And if you have any further questions, you can always email the city engineer's office. Thank you.